much stream time that's being dedicated to a lot of these up and coming players. That's that, true. Know, yeah. Not on stream all the time. You know, you get that follower, you get that following, the W's. There's a lot of things that come in with winning breakthrough. And of course, the last breakthrough champion, AC, is also here. Mm -hmm. Candy, the winner of the also previous breakthrough as well, not here, but of course, he had such a powerful season getting ranked after he won that breakthrough. So let's see what, who's going to break through here in this match here against Nice Guy Rai and Prince. And Bowser Jr. coming out for Prince and Mario for Nice Guy Rai. They're opening up the match, and so far it's been all Prince so far. And that's kind of the, the way it goes, though, Bowser Jr. A lot of those low percent combos puts yeah. on a lot of damage pretty quickly. Before you know it, one hit leads into another, and you're losing a stock. Right. Nice to see another Bowser Jr. Uh, set from Teenager, and of course, Ketchup. Ketchup put an amazing show early in the bracket today. Oh, uh, that was an interesting fireball. Almost caught him off guard and killed him with it. <laughs> yeah. Nice guy right is trying to figure out how to open up Bowser Jr., get in somehow, maybe get a ladder going. He's just falling behind by quite a bit of amount, quite a bit of percent. Nice, get that spot dodge. I mean, that's something that I feel that Nice Guy Rai is getting kind of kind of getting caught up in is that spot dodge. He's been spot dodging a lot, and of course when you keep going for those defensive moves like that a little bit too often, they will start to stale out. I mean they do have more MI. And that's what I kind of been seeing from Nice Guy Rai. He goes for a go. spot Here's dodge. The ladder. Oh, it doesn't connect, connect that last up here though. Would have been really pivotal to get some percent of the impact on the game here. He Prince. might have been able to take a stock with it, connect yeah. it down here. So, could have been dangerous. Going for a hard read on a roll, doesn't get it. Full jab, nice. The last hit, able to send Nice Guy right off the stage here. This is Prince opportunity to get control. Sets up the Mecha Koopa for insurance. Yeah, it's a good left trap option. He had no oh, jump, and oh, Nice Guy okay. right down. Oh man, I thought we saved our jumps in 2019, but of course we might have uh, double jumped off the, uh, off the ledge. Ah, know, that's true. Double jump. I mean, yo, man, you won, you won five gold medals here out of the E3 line. But what wow, does it, big four and smash the tie it right up. What does the E3 line have to do with, you know, the main game, right? There you go. Uh, Prince trying to rebuild his lead after dropping it pretty quickly. That's nice. like that's going to be the frustrating part. You do so well that first stock and build up a huge lead. Got One it. forward smash later, and it's virtually tied. And then you have to go right back to the beginning. Forward air, nice. Going oh, up the stage, no sets up the upbeat, nice. Done. There's no jump. No jump. And there's that lead, re rebuilt right back up. Frustration or not, Prince is able to make it happen. <laughs> that is true. The one thing he's able to do is to kind of move around Mario to get a void by getting hit by anything from that Mario usually has. And not only that, that's where I feel that Nice Guy Rai is kind of struggling too. He's been kind of showing his defensive cards a little bit too early with that four wow, there. he dumps it and then he tied it right back up. Nice Guy Rai making all the plays. <laughs> he needs to at this point, Rai, with such a deficit that was previously. Yeah, let's see if he's able to build up a lead this time instead of having to play from behind every. <laughs> you know, those plays look really good when you do them when you have the lead. Yeah. As opposed to having to bail yourself out from being behind by so much. Tries to line with Nair, nice. Up throw to up air, not going to be a confirm for Prince. Prince still looking for opportunities to just get more percent on Nice Guy Rai. I do see the spacing that Prince kind of little, little establishing just a little bit, just to see if he can punish a Nice Guy Rai for an approach. But that's kind of one of those traits from Mario's that they love to do is they like to go for the aerial fireball, cause you to hold shield, and if you go for an aerial, they're going to usually catch you with something like Nair. Right. Just that uh, fireball approach, old school fighting game action. Right. It's kind of one of those things I do like about Mario in general. Just, I'm not a fan of Mario, but I do like that he kind of goes call back to the what would be a Ryu-esque character, yeah. right? Good, good fireballs, good approaches here. Not one of the strongest, but still has a lot of great tools to make the character a worthwhile learning to beginners. And we're dead even coming into the late stocks. That's oh, guy right with the big force smash pickup, baiting him. Yo, man, Prince had all the control, but Nice Guy Rides got that one spike and he gets momentum. Yeah, clutched it out. Actually, two big plays to get yeah. behind by so much the first stop. Tied it up. Behind yeah. by so much the second stop. Look at that Tied smug. It up. You can see that <laughs> smug look on his face. Like, yeah, man, I won those five medals at A3 and what? Did you win five medals at A3? <laughs> <laughs> Did you win five? I thought this guy was drunk. I'm so sorry. He just came up with us. He was like, can you watch it? Thank you. And I was like, I didn't even hear a word you what? said, man. Is he asking us to watch his water? All right, so let's commentate this water scene here. I mean, that's well, as you can see, Lux, the water here is standing right next to the pro controller. I see a little condensation going on. <laughs> a little condensation. What the heck? All right, Ca anyway, back to, back to our match. Careful for the evaporation, man. It may cause some reason. Yeah, don't be that guy that tells the uh, commentating team to watch the uh, watch the water. <laughs> right, it's because you feel it's the most safest with us, but sometimes we're not even looking I'm at I'm going to drink that. I thought that was for you. I thought that was. I, you have your own water. <laughs> <laughs> I have the ice left over for my drink. That will definitely come out. All right, but moving into game two, you know, Prince. He's got to be reeling just a little bit, right? Because he had such a big lead, and then it all went away so quickly twice, and then Nice Guy Rai closed it out, as we said. I'm not sure, you know, how you got to have some mental fortitude to really battle back from that kind of situation, for sure. 
And already, up there, up there, nice. yeah, nice guy ride doing much better this time around, opening up an early lead instead of playing from behind the entire time. And you know what's kind of interesting about Nice Guy Rice? He does come from that little bit of that old level area back in Smash 4, where we had a lot of Marios. Nice Guy Rice was definitely one of them. Now in Ultimate, we still have a few Marios. Not as many as you would anticipate, though. Yeah, probably just the nature of the character not being quite as uh, prominent in the metagame. Yeah. Easy to pick up, difficult to master. We right. have players like Noteca, Master Mario, Zenyu, Gohan, Nice Guy Rice himself who shows up here every now and then. On the flip side, uh, SoCal's always been like kind of a little bit of a, you know, home for uh, the Bowser Jr. Crowd. That was that was not a home for Mario. Man. He <laughs> just threw him, and the DI was not definitely home. I thought he was a town and city, but that wall get up here was going to cost Prince a little bit of damage. Yeah, and Ryze getting a lot of mileage out of these step back forward smashes, especially in the ledge trap yeah. scenario. It's probably something that Prince is going to have to take a look at when he go back when he goes back and reviews the VODs. It's just like. Man, maybe my overaggression in the disadvantage situation mm -hmm. possibly this match. And not only that, you have to also understand that Mario does wind his hurt box back a little bit before he sends in the forward smash. So it's really good to understand that the way that frame data not only works, but the way that hurt box and hit box work as well. Right. Oh, uh, he winds. Yeah. It. <laughs> <laughs> That's when you know a Mario main is feeling. He winds the up smash. And good option coverage coming out, and he's got Prince a little bit on the ropes. Okay, looking for that landing. Prince is trying to stall himself back out. Both players not at even percent, but they're pretty much at kill percent at this point. As one would say, it is an even matchup at this point. Good parry. Yeah, Perry's trying to get a forward smash, but Prince spot dodging it very quickly. This time he goes for a sneaky up air to stuff out any sort of charge smash attack to recover. And then gets uh, you know, an approaching forward air to clear himself out of that zone. Grab a jab and that last hit. That's one of those things above that Bowser Jr. kind of got the last hit of Rabbit Jab accidentally able to kill. Yeah. Nice. Using that fireball to lead in. He even went for an aerial approach, kind of covering the angles. That if Prince went for an out of shield option, he would have gotten hit by the nair or take the damage from the fireball. Nice. What a good comeback. And with the back air. Yeah, always catches you sleeping if you're not paying attention on the ledge. Some of the Bowser Juniors, they'll just like not to grab the ledge and just come up swinging with a hammer. Nice guy, I kind of caught, I, okay, this is what, uh, he's still having that problem he had the first game. He's got such a such a solid different pace of momentum this guy had him around, but that's the problem. He keeps going for these spot dodges, these early reads, man. Your opponent is on chapter 12, but you're still on chapter eight. You're making, you're trying to make a jump a little bit too early. Get a ledge trap with a fireball. He tries to get the read a little early, but he's able to clear it out. All right, takes in that Koopa cart. I'm sorry, the Mecha Koopa. I mentioned how that thing can be insurance policy. It definitely stops Nice Guy from going for possible tech chase. Yeah, especially on this stage where there's not a lot of, you know, um, ground for the Koopa to have to cover to interrupt anything going yeah. on. Yeah, that is true. Oh my god, I thought he was dead right there to the clown cart. But he bounces off and he's just holding on to dear life. But, but of course, we saw the last couple games. Ryan nice, good pivot grab and the back throw, not going to take it. He's able to recover. Let's see if he pulls out one of those patented Nice Guy Riot clutch plays that we saw in game one. Yeah. <laughs> go oh, the oh and he drops to the platform at the last second. Yeah, Prince uh, missed the uh, punish, maybe overthought it just a little bit. I just, oh, oh okay. he got crossed up. Yeah, he got crossed up. <laughs> I don't know if you saw that. I might come into play later on. He's throwing out the cape to uh, reverse the Koopa mm -hmm. so that it ends up being on his team instead of, uh, you know, hurting him. That's good. Uh, good understanding, too, because sometimes you want to make those small adaptations and right. then start taking that to the next game. Game three here between Prince and Nice Guy. Prince able to understand, you know what, Nice Guy, if you want to go ahead and spot dodge neutral and try to hit the ghost of town and city, that's all you, man. I have the rest of the stage control. Mm -hmm. Just thinking about Kalos hovering over Garden of Hope. <laughs> Where are we going? Nice guy, Ryan. Just a man of the people feeling the energy in the crowd. You could hear some people shouting at him. Yeah. Even Prince is feeling it just a little bit too. All right. We're, we're all having a good time here at, the, <laughs> at Breakthrough, Breakthrough 2019, the Arcadian. The Arcadian story, it's being written right now. I thought you, I, mean, I, I thought, I didn't know they were writing it. They sent me, they emailed me the script. I don't know if you got the memo though. I didn't get the, I didn't see the script. I don't know what plot twist we have in store for us. Uh, Cause I'm sure, you know, 
people 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 sometimes ask me, is there a 2 gg script? And I was like, you know what, Champa never put it on paper. That's why he <laughs> emails it to people. <laughs> Who puts the script on paper, man? You email it. You don't want to let people find that out. Yeah, but we're still in Act 1, even though it's Wave 5. Everybody right? trying to make it out of their pools, because Act 2 is going to be a little bit of crazy, like the top, whatever, uh, 140 players. Yeah, and Act 3. And Act 3 is going to be top eight. the top 8, man. Some great commentary from Korean. Some great insight from War. Definitely a treat for all you guys back at home. We're all winning up game three. It's such an exciting set so far. Good job on Prince to battle right back after dropping that first game. Rai has his work cut out for him, for sure. See, and that's the thing about Nice Guy Rai. I don't really see him at too many locals. Mm. So for Prince, he doesn't want to let Nice Guy Rai walk away like, hey, man, I'm not even answer locals anymore. Like, yeah. I'm getting a W over you? Mm -mm. A little bit of pride on the line. Right? That's what hurts the most when the player who doesn't really enter as much kind of has a W over you. All right, full jab, gets the corner carry here on the stage, but he kind of drops control trying to go for an aerial afterwards. Yeah, both these players just trying to do something to jockey for control and just take the advantage early. They want to make a statement and bring it on for game three. So far, it's been a little bit better, go better, a little bit better going for Prince. Trying to feel a read right there with a the forward smash. Gets a parry, but grab goes nowhere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Man, buff, uh, buff that grab, Sakurai. Let's get that patch going. A lot of grabs just feel like not as great as they used to be compared to Smash 4. Yeah, I feel like they phoned it in on the grabs a little bit. <laughs> Especially the ranges, too. You yeah. know? You guys were an out smash trying to cover that neutral getup. Doesn't quite get it, though. And he has nice guy Rai off stage in the edge guard situation. But it just kind of seems like a little bit of patience on Rai's part is letting him escape the situation. Yeah. Prince going for these empty hops, looking to move away from Nice Guy. And I do like the fact that he's going for him because he doesn't want to be on the ground for Nice Guy to set up a possible grab from the fireball. Prince recovering. Bowser Jr. can recover from pretty much anywhere. I do like the fact that he decides to move in a little bit aggressively with the Mech Kuba. Oh, my oh God, and the shield. shield. <laughs> he should have held it for just like... A Another, second, like, yeah. Not even a second, like, but a heartbeat. <laughs> Drop a Mega Koopa here. Uh, Prince did a good job just slowing down the pace of the game. His shield's probably back online at this point. It's been 10 seconds. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so he's back full shield. Oh, Gets and the he wipe caught, out. caught the man kind of slipping. We're trying to walk away and maybe go for a whiff punish. Yeah, probably Riot trying to go for the forward smash in that situation, but I don't know if it's worth the risk. Uh, side special of the wipe out, you know, does uh, quite a bit of knockback. Yeah. That is true. Back throw. Nice guy out. It's a little bit of control here. Sets up the opportunity to go for an edge guard, but you have to understand the, the cannonball does fall off. That hit of Nair, if he actually just delayed it for a second, it would have caught Nice Guy, but unfortunately he went a little bit too early, and that's how he's going to get the up smash. And uh, apparently the up smash will outrange the, <laughs> the landing neutral air. Now, have you seen Mario's head? I mean, outrange is so much. That hat's got some. Uh it's got some weight. It has a living character in there now. I'm sure it's not the metal cap in there? Just, uh, you know. <laughs> Just secretly hiding, right? All right. Good shield leverage coming out from Nice Guy Rai trying to start the uh, the ladder. Puts it in a special. Just takes the damage. Both these players playing it so close. You know, good job on Nice Guy Rai's part to really battle back into it because uh, it looks like Prince is starting to run away just, uh, just in bad. Yeah. I mean, it's 1-1 apiece, right? One player definitely wants to run away with the victory in hands. Roll back, looking for an opportunity here. Yeah, you can see Prince is trying to play and uh, bait out some of Nice Guy Rai's aggression, throwing out some forward smashes in the neutral. But Nice Guy Rai not taking the bait. Got it, went in a little bit too aggressively there and got back here for it. And the clown car cleans it up. Good ledge trap coming out from Prince. Yeah, it would have been, oh, it gets a forward end, but unfortunately Prince is definitely on stage. Nice Guy Rai cannot get a follow up. Yeah, Rai is in need of one of those plays that he's been making to cover, you know, to cover all of his deficits. Nice, stalls himself a little bit. Now. Prince not having any of it, just clearing out so much percent, building a commanding lead. Yeah. Up E. It mm -hmm. was so many grabs on the shield grabs, I decided to try to dash grab him that time. And it gave Riot enough time to up special out of the situation. <laughs> <laughs> little things about the metagame, man. People just kind of, they have to deal oh. with these situations where their grab's terrible. Okay, drifts himself a little bit here, and he goes for the back air from the depths. Wow. Sensing that nice guy went have been trying to get something himself. He says, I will pull the trigger first, man. Take your five E3 gold medals and go home. All right, well, now it's going to be Luna.